Hi, my name is Peter Curtis. I'm an ophthalmologist and a retina specialist. I'm the ophthalmologist in chief here at the Kensington Eye Institute, the Kensington Vision and Research Center. And I'm also the chair of ophthalmology and vision sciences at the University of Toronto. A solar eclipse uh, is a situation where the moon crosses uh, in front of the sun, so you have um, a short period of darkness um, when the, the light of the sun is blocked by the moon passing in front of it. And it's something that's pretty special. Um, it occurs about um, eight times worldwide um, in any given 10 year period, and we're not likely to see another uh, eclipse of the sun until 2044. It's important to remember that it's always risky to look at the sun, but why it's especially risky uh, during an eclipse is because people, um, you know, have heard about the eclipse. They want to see what's going on. You know, the fact that the sun is dim makes the bright light of the sun less bothersome. So people are, are more inclined to look at it without squinting or looking away as they might when the sun um, is uneclipsed. And even though it's um, it's blocked and it's dim and it's not as uncomfortable to look at, it's still just as dangerous. And um, bad things could certainly happen to you if you look directly at the sun. The risk of looking at the sun is you get um, a burn in your retina. In particular, you get a burn in the central part of your retina called the macula. And the macula is responsible for your reading vision and color vision and if it's damaged, as it would be if you look directly at the sun, um, there's really no treatment for it. It's permanent, irreversible damage. So the danger, of course, is when you, you look at the sun, you know, it is effectively a burn of, you know, some very important structures in your eye. But unlike a, the usual burn or a thermal burn, you don't feel any pain or don't have any discomfort. If you do, unfortunately, look at the sun, usually people will notice some decrease in their vision. And if you look directly at it with your central, the central part of your retina, you're going to notice that you've lost some central vision. You'll have some blurring, or you may have, might have some black spots. We use the term solar retinopathy when we're talking about um, the damage that can be done by looking at the sun. At, at during an eclipse or, or otherwise. You know, there's no real treatment for it. So sometimes when, when people have had damage, sun damage uh, in their eyes, sometimes there's some improvement uh, over time, but it never comes back to how it was before. There are some ways people can uh, use to, to look at the eclipse. But it's very important that you be very careful when you look at the eclipse. There are number 14 welder's glasses through which you can safely uh, look at the sun. Um, there are luminized mylar filters which allow you also to safely look at the sun, but it's important uh, to make sure that those filters don't have any scratches on them. And probably the safest way and the simplest way is to use a pinhole camera. That's a contraption that's the very simple and very easy to make so you take a piece of cardboard and put a small hole in the cardboard and then you hold another piece of cardboard and you stand with your back to the sun and you try and orient the rays of the sun through that pinhole onto the sheet of cardboard that you're holding in front of you but it's very important when you're doing that that you keep your back to the eclipse and the sun um, and resist the temptation to turn around. Of course, the simplest and the safest way is to watch a live stream recording. I know that NASA had, will have a website that's um, recording the solar eclipse, and that you can watch that online. I'm sure other organizations will similarly have uh, ways that you can watch the eclipse online.